What's up Sim Racers, it's Larry TJR Sim here and today we're going to go over the some more optimal settings or actually a higher frame rate setting with uh, less ghosting, less shimmering on the track. Uh, I didn't, I wasn't quite happy with the other one and it was kind of the best of the most optimal settings you can get as far as uh, having a quality picture and um, and also frame rate to that frame rates that didn't fluctuate too much right so however this this attack is to more or less sacrifice a little bit of quality um, but have higher frame rate although I'm not really sacrificing that much and so let's just go ahead and jump into it so first off you want to run this particular driver here that I have is just 452.06 this is of course the NVIDIA drivers go to the NVIDIA website download the driver for your uh, GPU. Now I'm using a 2080 Ti, and it's a uh, was it a Zotex Gaming uh, already OC Zotex Gaming OC uh, GPU. Uh, send the description as far as the exact model, but uh, 452.06. I've tried out all of these actually, and I pinned that in my last video as well, uh, just to let y'all know to use 452.06. But that was the most consistent um, driver for that. Now keep in mind if you're ever going to download a driver. Go ahead and go to your, uh, you know, your control panel here, and uninstall programs, and look for your existing driver, uh, your NVIDIA driver, and uninstall it in here first. Let me see. There's my NVIDIA driver over here. It's 452. You can see I'm running it right now, 452.06. But you'll want to uninstall whichever one you have first. Reboot your computer, and then come back and reinstall whatever driver you want. That way, you're for sure to get a nice clean install with it so uh, anyway so get that driver going and next up is to kind of optimize your NVIDIA control panel a little bit to help things along a little bit as far as gameplay goes so <clears throat> I'll give you my global settings and in in the in-game settings so uh, as far as global settings you want to go to manage 3d settings here and look at image sharpening I'm just going to roll through these with you off uh, actually ambient occlusion ambient or uh, anthropic filtering anti alias and FXA all those are off uh, gamma correction on uh, anti alias and mode off the next two are grayed out for me your settings may be a little bit different depending on which driver you were running but uh, that's I said just load up the driver that I have that I would recommend it first before you come in here to change it because if you do this first and you reload your driver, you're gonna to have to reset these. So just a little note there. Uh, CUDA GPUs, all. Low latency mode, off. Uh, max frame rate, off. Uh, this is for G-Sync monitor. Uh, the multi-frame sampled AA, MFAA, off. OpenGL is auto select. The power management is preferred maximum performance. That might be different uh, from what you had before. Preferred refresh rate. Uh, is highest available and shader cache on texture filtering uh, sample is on uh, the negative load for texture filtering allow uh, the texture filtering quality change that from standard quality uh, to high performance so it's quality high, per high quality performance and high performance change it to high performance uh, texture filtering trilinear is on uh, auto for the threaded optimization, triple buffering, leave that off, uh, vertical sync off, and your pre render frames for virtual reality one, virtual reality variable rate, super sampling, leave that off as well. Now, you want to go over into the program settings and go into ACC itself, go ahead and select it, uh, that particular game, and you'll have all these settings, or you should have all these settings to point. By default to your global settings anyways but uh, scroll on down and go to the pre-rendered frames for the virtual reality pre-rendered frames and change that to four if you're having a little bit of a struggle with your GPU if you're running something less than a 2080 Ti uh, go to two at least uh, but uh, two will at least clean up some of the shimmering that you get out on track uh, one is 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 not quite enough and it doesn't seem to tax your GPU hardly at all from going from one to two but it does clean up a little bit of the shimmering this is the problem with ACC is you get this little shimmering and ghosting effects and you'll notice that your GPU runs still 
in a nice range of 60 to 90 percent depending on what's going on and your cpu is running from 30 to 50 percent depending on what's going on and you're like man, why is that why am i still getting you know shimmering i'm still you know 70 80 80 fps but it's still looking bad so pre-render frames actually help you out a lot all right so let's jump into the actual steam vr settings here Let me drag this over here to the screen you can see and settings right here and what i have go to your video oops make sure sound is working <laughs> okay turn off all right go to your video and find your game acc right there and i have it set at 100 percent motion smoothing i have disabled and uh why did that change oh it changed back okay ACC again, 3172 by 3096. I have this set at 100%. You're gonna downsample it in the game. Uh, motion smoothing is, dis is disabled. Now, as a precaution, if you go ahead and set this at 100% and then go into your game and it's already set to 100% for your, your, for your sampling there, your VR sampling, it's gonna be kind of choppy to move it around. So I suggest you go into your game first before you change this uh, to 100%. Leave it at 50 or 70, whatever you had before, right? Go into your game, change that one down to 70%. Close out your game, come back over here, change this to 100%, and then go back into your game. Makes it for a smoother experience because otherwise you're going to have your mouse kind of being choppy and trying to find your selection on the screen. Uh, so just a little uh, warning there. Uh, and motion smoothing uh, another subscriber had mentioned motion smoothing he disabled it and he upped the um um uh, shoot what is it called sharpening uh to 130 to 150 percent so uh that actually worked really good so thank you for that there uh, the sharpening up and then the sharpening within the game actually cleaned up the background a little bit more being a little bit less blurry even though you may be running the lower uh super sampling so now that just closed out and timed out on me. So let's go into the actual game settings itself. And roll through this. We're going to just load up regular without VR so you can see everything. Easy peasy. All right, guys. So we're into the game itself here. Uh, go into your option settings, obviously, in this game. And uh, scroll on down here to where your, your custom settings are. Resolution scale. I'll just go through these again link to my other video that goes in depth explaining these a little bit more for you but resolution scale at 100% view distance on high that was fine shadows I had to bump it down to medium instead of high that I prefer uh, to get a few more consistent uh, frame let get basically less drop frames as well as uh, having a little bit less shimmering so that seemed to work better low obviously works even better if you're running nighttime turn it to low and you're fine uh, nice thing about this, you already set your super sampling at 100%, so you can change your super sampling within the game on the fly, which is a nice nice thing for ACC. Um, so, for instance, if you're out on the track by yourself, you can bump up the super sampling a little bit more to get a little bit cleaner image when you're just running hot laps, you know. Uh, but then once you start getting into a, a race with 10 cars, then you can lower it back down. All right, so shadow distance on low, anti listen on high. Anti-ALS and type is temporal. I normally like KTAA, however, just the performance boost was better in temporal, so I had to put it back down in temporal. I do get a little bit of ghosting off the mirrors, uh, off the sides and stuff, but I didn't notice since I had the super sampling at 100% um, in, in the Steam VR, I didn't notice the ghosting off the edges of the car, so I was okay with that. Uh, effects on high, post-processing on low, Foliage on low, textures on high, mirror view distance. Remember, that's very taxing, 20 meters. Uh, mirror quality on low, frame rate limit auto, uh, mirror resolution on high. So when they are in your mirrors, they look decent enough to uh, not look like Minecraft. The uh, opponent visibility all, so depending on where you're on the track, you can see them. Now, since I'm in the 2D screen here, you won't be able to see my VR pixel density and my... Uh, uh, change here it's going to be default 100 percent however uh daytime racing set it to 80 percent nighttime racing you can set it down to 70 percent the two videos that i'm going to show after this uh are both set to actually 80 percent uh 
but you do get a little bit cleaner frame rates, less shimmering uh, on the track at night if you bump it down to 70%. 70 is actually the lowest you can go in game. So don't know what it is about it, but when you change it to 100% uh, for the Steam VR and then just down sample it within the game, you get a little bit better performance that way. So I was even seeing 90 FPS in a lot of instances and it was, even though my average would have been around 77, 78 FPS by the end of a five lap race, uh, I was still going from 60s to 90s, 60s to 80s more consistently, and sometimes 90s if I was able to pull away from some of the other cars. So pretty good uh, there. So, and that's with 80% uh, during the day, which you're only 20% off the max. So pretty good. You do get a little bit of distortion or, or, or blurriness in the background in the daylight, um, even at that 80%. But uh, of course, obviously it looks a little better than it did at 70, 70% is worse. However, it's got a good uh, good uh, gameplay that way. So try it out. The uh, material qualities, just continue on. Uh, medium, temporal unsampling disabled. Bloom off, fog is disabled. The uh, foliage, very low, 100% for the load, H load enabled, uh, advanced uh, sharpen filtering disabled. Um, I disabled that instead of having it enabled uh, because it recommends for the game if you're going to leave uh, the sharpening down here at 80%, which is standard, you want this enabled. Uh, otherwise, disable it. So that's what I did, disabled it. Uh, motion blur off uh, or disabled, saturation 100%, neutral, and then the sharpness, that's where I bumped up to 150%. You can go higher, set it to your liking. Uh, default is 80, like I said, but uh, between 130, you know, 130 looks pretty good, 150 cleaned up a little bit better, but uh, you may want to pay attention to what your cars look when you start sharpening up your, your details, your cars may look a little bit funny to you if you go too high with it. So 150 was a pretty good spot for me. So that's what I stuck with. The rest is up to your uh, liking. So one for the dirt, image contrast 0.5, exposure gain 0.4, tone mapping aces is what I run. So anyway, that is the settings. I'll run the other two little videos at the end. Keep in mind with OBS, uh, you're gonna be losing 10 frames uh, off of it. So, you know, OBS is fairly taxing. Uh, when recording now just as a note if you are running something like Xbox I don't know if someone mentioned it in my comments too But I, I thought it was kind of common knowledge to close off Xbox because it's very taxing on your computer But if you don't know that Do close it off and if you can live without see I have the 141 144 FPS up here uh, Which is running the NVIDIA uh, You know experience shadow play uh, that's taxing as well if you can Disable shadow play, that'll help performance, consistent performance rather. It's not like you're gonna see a bump in FPS, but your computer will run more consistent within the games that way. And then obviously turn off your Xbox app as well. So, uh, but yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope this helps you out as far as uh, getting a more fluid gameplay, sacrificing a little bit of quality, uh, but not much really. And uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. I'm out. Thanks. Stay double file.
on the right.
you're on the left. Good job. Clear on the left. <laughs> 